I want you to know that I'm feeling you And yo. all that's in my mind is what I want to do to you yo, yo. Maybe we are alone right here, right now uh -huh. And I know you want me, I can see it in your eyes uh -huh. Eyes in the light What you need? The temperature's rising, baby, make it move now Time's uh -huh. running now You know I'm feeling you, baby, won't you make the first move? It's all up to you, yo. what you gonna do? Finally, it's just me and you, baby. Yeah, we used to be in here as well. I know just what you need is a fug like me To take you to your deepest fantasies You got me crumped up like I'm high on weed Your compassion and attraction Cause reaction, fuck passion, hot sex action Clothes get added and subtracted by a fraction By a fractions you imagine what happened When I slapped her on the right side On the right side of her backside Let me ride I like it when you're naked and I kiss in your neck Makes me reflect on the days when you came home back I'm in the bath but you're sipping more you make uh, yeah. Coming here every day, every day, without fail. I get my favourite chewing gums. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh Spider, what do you? Yeah. You know how we do, but this is my bedroom, man, from a long time. We've always been, we've always wanted to be in that. We've always been surrounded, like by music and. Mm -hmm. you and know then, what I mean? and then when we got older, you had the pirate radio stations mm -hmm. where. Us lot will go up on the pirate radio stations, these that will do their thing and seeing on the decks DJs and that, you know. So it's kind of been going like it's been going and we've been working towards this, you see what I'm saying, and now we're here, you see. That's far from book school, primary school. That's a primary <laughs> school where me, G, Mega, Swiss. But yeah. this is a school where we all hooked up and did our thing. In the playground, had fights in did the playground with each other. Everything man. Played Bunking football with each other. But this is a school where like Boy them days I never started now. yet, but you get me? Once I hit secondary school, it was all over for me. Mm. Why? Was it better? Because um, I didn't go to school much. I just did what I felt to do. Make money, steal, sell. That's it. That was the life for me. I didn't want to work in 9 to 5. My career wanted to be music. I had a I, passion for music. I tried I tried I, a 9 to 5. I worked in the Timberland shop selling Timberlands, mm -hmm. jackets, hill figure, a lot. But like, I couldn't keep up, man. Six months was the most I worked there. No, right. three months was I worked there. Like, music. That was my dream, man, so I couldn't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No I used to go, like, you know talent? Where they find new jobs and all that? Yeah. Like, yeah, I used yeah. to go there every... I, I don't, I'm not sure, I think it was every week to try and find a job. That didn't work. Week, I used to go to interviews by myself and try to get a job dressed up and that never worked. And she was always a money maker, always a, a money saver. Yeah. Still is up to this day. That's what everyone waits for. Let me. When did we, when did that guy start selling weed? <laughs> you? No, no, don't. He did not sell weed. I used to sell weed. Yeah. I did the, I did yeah. the odd things. I did the but, bad things, but yeah, I used to sell Yeah, but he didn't, yeah. Hard. I you started when, when I was like. Remember when he started I told out when he was about two, I think. Two or three? <laughs> <laughs> when I was 15 or something like that, man. Yeah. 15. I started smoking weed when I was 15 as well. You see this road here, yeah? This is my regular. My regular runs, like up and down to the blocks and all that, you know what to do. But this road was me alone walking up and down it, doing my thing. I, I would see the police there and I'd go this way. <laughs> he used to stash the stuff, stash the stuff, then walk and go. <laughs> Real privacy, man. <laughs> stash and go. Damn. We used to do that, stash and go. go. <laughs> It wasn't long before the occupational hazard of prison caught up with G-Man. He was convicted and sentenced to a year in jail. I got 12 months, I had to do 6 months, but that was just for um, selling weed. Uh, um, back in the days I was living on my own at the age of 15. did my thing and I survived. I helped people around me and I feel good about it. It might have been a bad thing, but that's what they say. The law says. No one knows really and truly. I got arrested outside here one time as well because they, really, um, they said that I stole a, a jack from a man over there but when we went to court and that, the man didn't turn up so it was a joke thing because I didn't steal no jacks. It wasn't only G-Man who was having problems with the law. Mega Man was earning a reputation on the streets too. But when he went to prison, it was for the far more serious charge of attempted murder. I woke up to fight. Every day, there was nothing else on my mind. Not money, partly girls, you get me? 
But what was what was it all about? Yep. That really had to change my mind, man. After I went to jail for attempted murder, I kind of like bust the case. He got dropped to a next charge. But um, when I came out, I, I just had to change my frame of mind, man. What happened? Huh? What happened? Ah, uh, it's a long story, man. I'll tell you what happened. We went to prison for something that we didn't really do. Me and Mega. Someone, a big old boy, done something to his young brother, Swiss, which is in the crew now. And Swiss is like, I think he's 19 now. So, uh, four years back, five years back, imagine how long that was now. 